Come on, Nakunku. Come to me. Yes! There we go, boys. Road to glory. That's huge, man. That is epic. That is huge. What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to another player review. We're looking at a deep dive of Nkunku. This guy is absolutely insane. Look at the stats that we have. We've got two special builds for you, right? So the first build you're going to see is going to be that SS slash CF, even though he can't play as a centre forward, really high up the pitch as an SS, pretty much playing as a centre forward. We're going to have excellent shooting. We're going to have excellent defensive awareness. We're going to have brilliant acceleration, balance, everything. But he's going to be an all-round beast with a little bit of speed and stamina. It's pretty much all about shooting with this card and using this player's skills, right? We're gonna show you a clip here. I mean, you saw at the start with the bangers that he hits. Now, we did try to do a little shot here um, and just rattle the net, and we do succeed with a bullet. And this is what he's good at, just kind of getting into those areas. We did try to do a double touch here, but then we decided to just flick it up with the right stick. So I do like that the responsiveness is gone a little bit better. We played a four hour stream today, had issues with the connection, but the responsiveness was much better. The second build that we're going to look at, right, and I'm going to keep this video short and sweet, lads. No fluff, just straight down to business, right? This is a build that's for a run and gun. If you're used to playing with um, an attacking midfielder that has got high acceleration, look at the acceleration, balance, offensive awareness build that you have here with 90 type possession, and you've got a little bit of movement as well. You can take off the shooting and you can add it somewhere else if you don't shoot a lot. I do shoot a lot with my attacking midfielders. I kind of use Pedri if I'm not really shooting in, in games, but I always like to have Messi or somebody that can curl the shot in. And this was the goal that you saw, or this was a goal that we got, a nice little slip through. We do get a bit lucky, and Collar just, you know, being King Collar, he just slots at home. But it's just all about those little passages of play. Now, one issue with him is his stamina. So make sure and keep an eye on that. You will need to sub him out. But when he's on the pitch, lads, there isn't many better than him from what I've seen. He's definitely one of the best players that they have released early doors for eFootball 2024. And let's call it as it is, right? eFootball 2024 is going to shake things up a little, I think, with how you're training players. And I think if you can get this guy and get him going strong, um, he is just going to be incredible, right? And as you can see there, we have got the additional skills. I know you guys asked me to do this in my future videos. We have got the additional skills up on the screen there. I think, personally speaking, you could throw a lot of different skills on him. You know, there's a lot of one on him, right? I'll show you the ones that I did at the end. I'll show you the training that I did for him myself to test out. But I will be changing the training that I did based on these clips because I think I do want a little bit more shooting in the build that I used. But I'll also show you how many trainer points it took as well, right? So as you can see here, he starts off at an 84 rated. This is his player uh, profile before we go into level training. And he takes roughly around 60,000 um, XP. That's roughly kind of what he takes. You've got, you know, whatever you have there, maybe about 70,000 XP um 73,000 xp in total i think it was if i can do my maths real quick um but yeah or 80,000 i should say whatever it is uh, i didn't see there but that maxes him out at level 28 with the 3 xp boost that you get for the players now you don't really need to do this if you're if you're light on trainers this is a good time to train up and boost up your players you get 54 progression points we're after already showing you the two builds right so I mean, I built him in a, in a slightly different way, right? We did the automatic allocation of stats. If you're still doing that, I mean, you're wasting your time because it gives one into defendant and it never gives you the best version of the card. I don't know why people do it. But anyway, um, we did actually leave off a little bit of shooting and give a little bit more into passing and dribbling. But I think I'm going to train him up how I trained up the first build and just have a little bit of a mix and match to suit my gameplay. Um, but those two builds... If you're running gun or else you're a shooting kind of like attack at all angles type of attack a midfielder, um, those two builds can be brilliant. And if you have an SS and an AMF in your squad, I'm using Messi and Nkunku at the moment, and I'm just able to slot them in different positions and change them at half time if something's not working. You know, if I've got a lot of shots on, if people are backing off me, I'm able to get in and do a lot more stuff, right? So with this build here that we have, I'm kind of talking and saying, listen, this was during my live stream and I was saying to the chat that the shooting isn't really important if you don't shoot a lot. I do shoot a lot, but for the purposes of the live stream where we were getting the clips, I left this deliberately uh, low because I do have a lot of attacking midfielders that I like to shoot with. Now, if I'm going to be retraining this guy up, I'm probably going to go with the first build that we saw and maybe max him out at around 97 acceleration to get that 99 boost massive balance and then the brilliant shooting as well because i think that's what he's good at yes he's brilliant at running gun as well 
but it's all about creating the package for you within that squad especially as long ball counter skill training i actually took a gamble and we did get gamesmanship with him right so he can win more free kicks and we also gambled again and we got very lucky with soul control so i will try and train him with some proper skills super sub would be good he does have double touch now um one touch pass and soul control i would like super sub on him because of his stamina to have that option um but this is on my road to glory account that we unlocked him so he's been an absolute beast for me so i hope you enjoyed this video lads don't forget to subscribe and i will talk to you later peace